A Baltimore judge has ordered the release of Adnan Syed after overturning his 1999 murder conviction. Now, Syed's case was chronicled in the hit podcast Serial, a true crime series detailing the murder case of Hyman Lee. Monday, Circuit Court Judge Melissa Finn ordered Syed's conviction to be vacated. After more than two decades behind bars, the judge ruled the state violated its legal obligation to share evidence that could have bolstered Syed's defense and ordered him to be released and placed on home detention with GPS monitoring. This after prosecutors filed the motion last week, saying an investigation had uncovered new evidence that could undermine the 2000 conviction of Syed Lee's ex-boyfriend. Prosecutors say they are not asserting Syed's innocence, but lack confidence, quote, in the integrity of the conviction. The state now has 30 days to decide to seek a new trial date or dismiss the case. Through our review, our reinvestigation revealed that the original prosecutors and the subsequent prosecutors in the Attorney General's office failed to disclose relevant information about alternative suspects, one of whom threatened to kill the victim and had motive to kill the victim, and both of whom had a pattern of violence against women. Our investigation suggests that the two suspects may have been involved individually or may have been involved together in the death of that beautiful young woman. We also received information that provided motive for that same alternative suspects. That information was never disclosed to the defendant and is the basis in, of the Brady violation that the judge has deemed. It was through our investigation, we also learned that during the original investigation, one of the suspects were improperly cleared by investigators based on faulty polygraph tests and a faulty cell site evidence that was used against Adnan Saeed that simply wouldn't stand up in court today. And finally, we found that the previous misconduct of one of the homicide detectives in the Saeed's case, a detective that was negatively Im implicated in my my office's first exoneree, Malcolm Bryant, contributed to a wrongful conviction in a separate, that, that separate 1999 murder case. At this stage, a trial has been set, set in for a new trial date, because we're not yet declaring, not yet declaring Adnan Saeed is innocent, but we are declaring that in the interest of fairness and justice, he is entitled to a new trial. And because this is an ongoing case, there are limits to what I can say in this matter, but it is imperative that we start the process of securing a new trial with adequate representation for Mr. Saeed to ensure that the family of Ms. Heyman Lee knows with full confidence that the person responsible for her death and the death of their loved one will be held accountable. Ms. Lee's family deserve closure. They deserve justice and we intend to fight for that. Honestly, I was just so overwhelmed with like extreme happiness that his family was finally going to be able to see him and just be happy. And I just hope that, you know, the rest of this trial, the Lee family is also able to get justice and they're also able to get some closure as well. But I was just so, just like, just so happy for all of this. The way the state's attorney's office acted in this case is just inexcusable. They knew about this for more than a year. It was clear from their conduct they absolutely did not want to afford this victim any meaningful opportunity to address this motion. My clients, all they wanted was information. They want the truth to come out. If the truth is that someone else killed their sister, daughter, they want to know that more than anybody. They were shut out of the legal process by the court and the state's attorney's office, and there was, it was inexcusable. It's a violation of Maryland law, and our, my clients are exploring their options with regard to appeal.